and I have a new full spectrum of wind tickets. The reason why is because it's a huge hit. Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Cass, and I have a new topic. Today's topic is FLV video files. I'm pretty old, <laughs> 32 years, in case you were wondering. But when I was a kid and computers were rate pretty new, file extensions were basic, at least to my child understanding. You had your .exe, which is not a uh, creepypasta. It was the basic execution files. And then you had like your WAVs, WAV or MP3s for your uh, music and sound files. Uh, you had your DLLs, which was like the major uh, f program file that it needs to run or whatever. And you had your MOV or MP4s for your videos. So life was simple in, until you actually start trying to edit stuff. Now one of the major things that has been a pain for me as a gamer slash YouTuber, like Let's Player, finding finding the recorders for recording your games. Uh, when I was actually really into gaming, I did a lot of stuff that, like, I found glitches, bugs, I did some funny and awesome things, um, and I also told stories, like Sims was a huge one. I have some Sims 2 clips. I do plan on going through them and compiling them into a video. Because I, I just want to share that with you guys. Lately, I joined, as you, as you might have known, I joined the Let's Play community. I am currently behind in a lot of my videos. One of the reasons is because my computers. Uh, I've been having a rough time with my computer trying to keep it good running. Uh, I have about, I want to say 50 episodes locked on a bad hard drive that I can't access. And I've built up quite a few while my computer was completely down. I have quite a few videos backed up. Now I have some videos that I recorded with the camera on the TV screen and some videos I recorded on the computer. I've had two different file types. The MP4s from my camera and the FLVs from the computer. I used to be able to load them into Premiere Pro just nicely, but that was on my computer. That shut down. So I tried when I got like my new hard drive, I had to reinstall and then suddenly I couldn't load them. And then the computer actually broke down, so I had to use my son's computer, eventually. And then it just would not load them into the uh, program, and I remember being able to do this. So I have quite a few FLVs backed up. So I just started editing the uh, ones I got, uh, recorded off the camera which are the Skyliner videos that uh, I've recently uploaded. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to solve this FLV problem. I go online, of course. Look up Google. A lot of people have been having this problem too. And the reason is because for some reason, Adobe decided to remove FLV as a compatible video. Don't know why. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and rage like, ah, why Adobe, why? No, it, it, it's a decision that it was probably a good decision. I don't know. It's just, it's frustrating on me now because 
I have a lot of FLV videos. So I've been recording, I was recording with Open Broadcast. Uh, I, that was like the highest recommended uh, recorder from Twitch. Uh, I've tried a couple of the other ones and they were just not good. Uh, one, I couldn't even figure out how to start it. I'm trying this other one. I forgot what it's called. I'm not going to minimize everything to try to uh, see the name, but it's working pretty well. The video is pretty solid. Um, it records in MP4, so that's pretty. That's a huge plus already. But until I pay the money, I only can record in like 15 minute sessions, which is annoying. But I think I'm actually willing to pay these guys. It, it, it seems to be a really solid business, or not business, but a solid program. There was a suggestion on FL, uh, for the FLVs to show the extension, like the file extensions, and you can edit it. Change the FLV to AVI or MP4. That only vaguely worked. I mean, the computer did think it was an AVI, but Premiere Pro knows better. Um, I think the major problem with it is that it changes to AVI, yes, but the codec is still the same thing. You're just tricking your program to think it's another file, but the codec that doesn't work with Premiere Pro is still there. So I went searching for other programs to like convert because VLC just will not cooperate. I load the uh, file in, I select all the things, I even researched on exactly what like the codec to do, or, like all the steps, and I did that it pops up as an AVI, pops up as an MP4. I can play it nicely in the player. However, I can't load it into Premiere Pro. Keep saying that there's no video files, uh, something's corrupted, uh, the codec is not valid. It's just so annoying. So, QuickTime doesn't do it. It keeps like not being able to register it. Real player with its uh, converter keeps crashing on me, and I'm just so frustrated. It used to work, though it was like for my SAP, it was like 10 gigabytes. So that was a not a good thing. So it's taken me two days trying to get Arc episode uh, part two to register to load up in something anything I finally find this pretty cool converter system it it was it was good it actually converted it but the biggest problem it did everything it was supposed to try to load it in again there's no audio file and I played the new converted file in Windows Media Player it loads videos there audios there it's perfect I load in like VLC real player it's all there I still cannot get it converted into something that Premiere Pro would uh, load so at, my, at the end of my way, I tried something. Because <sighs> with YouTube, you can download your own videos. So, just out of desperation, I upload the converted file. It uploads. I play it on the uh, site on YouTube it's it has video it has sound it's perfect it sounds beautiful it looks great so I click the download 
hoping that I don't just download the thing again. It downloads it as an MP4. I load it into Premiere Pro and it worked. Loading it up to YouTube and then re-downloading it is the best converter I found and it even loads v or FLV videos. You just load your FLVs onto YouTube, download it, it downloads an MP4. Workable in Premiere Pro with video and audio intact, perfect sync, perfect quality. YouTube, not just a uh, broadcast service, it's also a file converter. So, everyone out there, if you're looking for a proper, a good uh, file converter that's free, that will convert it into MP4, upload to YouTube, and then re-download it. But if it's a file that uh, YouTube doesn't uh, recognize, then um, you're out of luck on that one. But yeah, discovered something awesome. So, that's all I have to say for this blog. And until next time, stay white and nerdy. Bye-bye. It around. So what I figured I will do but if you click on copy, it will create a I'll copy of it. Obviously. Welcome to Geeky Party. Let's go. Now the mirror access is what is the position that's going to be flipping it.